But the world is facing the fact that some people, some Muslims, look into the Quran and they see the justification for war against the West, holy war, for suicide bombing, for killing 3,000 people in the United States. They say that th they do that because of the Quran, because they are Muslim. Well, there are people that kill uh, ab doctors performing abortions in the United States, and they do it because they read the Bible. There's, there's uh, Jewish zealots. Uh, Baruch Goldstein went into a mosque and killed all of these. Absolutely. I'm, I mean, yeah, we I'm have, not, I'm we not have saying a rabbinical yeah. student killed Rabin. Abs I mean, religion goes wrong. We have insane secular people going out, and, and we had a man in our country who took young boys and, and ate them. I mean, there's crazy people all over the place. So if you're going to take a handful, and it's a small number of people, don't forget, who unfortunately have been quite spectacular. With huge consequences. Uh, with huge consequences, absolutely. But that's why those of us who represent the bulk of Muslims, of Christians, of Jews, we have an immense responsibility. We, we have an immense responsibility. Those people, extremist groups, have always been around. The Sakurai of, of, of the, the zealot period of, of Jewish uh, history used to go around and they were suicide bombers. Samson, he, he, he killed himself and brought the, the temple down and there were innocent people killed that St. Thomas Aquinas, St. Augustine, and Milton uh, dealt with as a theological problem. Was Samson a martyr? Or was he not? I mean, they saw it as a theological problem. So these are problems. They're not going to go away. Welcome to planet Earth. I mean, welcome to the world. These problems aren't going to go away. But we have to deal with them. But I think to taint an entire religion that represents a world civilization because of the actions of, of small people, and 3,000 people is, I don't want to get into numbers, but... I mean, if you look at how many people were killed in the name of secularism in the 20th century, 187 million people. So we have problems with ideology. Oh, yeah, but what I'm not, I accept, but what happens when these things happen? Christians have to ask themselves why some people use it to kill uh, abortion um, doctors. Uh, Catholics have to ask how it leads to the IRA, all of that. What you have to ask is, anyone has to face this, is what do they find in your religion that justifies this? Well, I just, I think that you can justify uh, anything you want with religion. I mean, one of the things about religion is it's not falsifiable, as Karl Popper would have it. I mean, there's interpretive ways that we can look at, at religion always. The Quran says in a verse, kill the polytheists wherever you find them. I mean, that's in the Quran. Well, it's in the Bible as well. The, the Old Testament says when you go into a village, don't leave anything breathing, not even animals. I mean, that's in the Old Testament. Jesus said, I haven't come to bring peace. I've come to bring war. He said, if you don't have a sword, then sell your garment and buy a sword. I mean, Jesus said, I came to separate father from son. So I can take those and I can say, well, I can't talk to my father. Jesus said, let the dead bury the dead. So I don't go to my parents' funeral. So we have many ways of reading scripture. But that is why you have a normative scholastic tradition in Islam. In Judaism, you have rabbis. And these, none of these people have, that are interpreting the Quran this way, they don't have uh, ulama that are at any serious level. And I think with the exception, I would say that it, uh, the suicide bombing is a, is a real problem. I find that a, a real, that is a deeply rooted problem. I, I cannot for the life of me understand, and I have been in debates with people that I would consider scholars, um, I've been in debates with them about the issue, and I can't for the life of me understand how some of, of the Muslim scholars have, uh, have validated that act. Um, they, they would say that's because you're a Californian liberal by no, birth and tradition, but they would say that you, you, you cannot understand that's the, not true. The economic and political desperation yeah. that would lead me. That's what they would say, isn't it? No, it, it's not what they would say because there are many Muslim scholars. For instance, Saudi Arabia that's always brought out as, you know, the bad and evil guy. Their ulama have consistently issued fatwas 
over the years since the, the first suicide bombings that it is absolutely prohibited in the religion of Islam. And that has not been their state official position. That is the, it is their state official position, but it's not because of that. They have had scholars within their own tradition that completely reject the concept of suicide and of murdering uh, women and children and non-combatants. And there are many scholars, my own uh, teacher, my, my first and primary teacher, uh, was against suicide bombing. So there are certain scholars that, that have sanctioned that, and, and I'm, I just, I can't for the life of me see how they've done that. But it's not because I'm progressive and from California. It's because I've studied the Islamic tradition, and, and I have come to my own conclusions about that. I mean, it's, it's, it's not helping Islam, it's not helping the Palestinians, it's not helping anybody. It's harming the religion of Islam. You've made clear your, absolutely clear your condemnation of September 11th to suicide bombers, but when, two days before that, when you said in a speech, this country is facing a terrible fate, the reason for that is that this country, America, stands condemned. What did you mean by that? Um, I, you know, I was actually speaking, I really was speaking, I was actually quoting some verses of Quran, and I, I didn't say fate, I said tribulation. And I said, in the same speech, I said the tribulation is actually already here if people look deeply enough. And I was talking about just the overall moral decay of our culture and, and society, the breakdown of families, the breakdown... It, it just what was about, about what, gay, gay marriages, Hollywood, what? I, I would just say we have some of the highest rates of depression. We have some of the highest rates of divorce. We, I mean, we have, we ha our young people are, are, are really suffering. I, I really believe that. I did not in any way mean, uh, it just happened to be right before September 11th. If I would, if I would reiterate that, I would say, the entire world is 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 facing an immense tribulation. I mean, I just I feel it in my bones. I just feel like we have ignored so much of what we should be focusing on as human beings. That when armaments and drugs are the two number, uh, the two largest industries on the planet, I think something's very seriously wrong with the human project. So th that's really what I'm talking about. I, I have never condone, condoned violence ever in, 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 in the name of Islam. When I've spoken about jihad, and I have, and, I've, I, and I believe in jihad, I have always understood jihad to be the highest principle of struggle against what's wrong in the world. I've never understood it to mean the violent use uh, of, of indiscriminate violence against uh, innocents and, and and civilians and things like that. I've understood it to be a spiritual struggle within the heart as well as a social struggle in activism and martial struggle when uh, it is appropriate.